Today, dozens of children cemented their handprints as a part of history. 41 NBC's Elaine Rackley has the story of how the new Thomas Jackson Juvenile Justice Center in Macon will offer special services to prevent crime among children. Construction crews are putting on the finishing touches to the Thomas Jackson Juvenile Justice Center. Judge Thomas Matthew says the new courthouse cost $7 million and was funded with SPLOS money. We realized years ago that um, the facilities of the courthouse were just not adequate in many ways. They were not safe, they were not private, they were not uh, what was needed in the juvenile system. Judge Matthews believes it will take adults working with children to reduce the crime rate among young offenders. The new the Justice Center will house support systems such as court-appointed special advocates known as CASA volunteers. Susanna Patterson is the executive director of Central Georgia CASA. Currently we have 30 volunteers who are serving less than a third of our children and so we desperately need more volunteers. Those volunteers are able to pull together the details of these children's lives. Foster parenting has also proven to be effective in reducing crime among young offenders. David Barnes and his wife are looking forward to becoming foster parents. My wife and I got into it and, and we just felt like it was something that we needed to do. We, we've met people just at random that they were foster parents and, and we had also just with adopting our son when we thought about expanding our family, it only made sense that, that we would do it in the same way that we came to have him in our life. The new Thomas Jackson Juvenile Courthouse is scheduled to open this summer. In Macon, Elaine Ragley, 41 NBC News. The new Thomas Jackson Juvenile Justice Center will house a juvenile courtroom holding cells and attorney's offices.